Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of August 10th through August 16th. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. So what do we have for Scorpio for the week of August 10th through the 16th? Well, I guess those are it, huh? Those just fell out. So we will take them. What do we have for Scorpio? Club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. That's not good, is it? You, you probably club them, right? Forest. Muddled. Unclear thinking. Unclear thinking. That's probably the idiot that's going to do this. Right? They, they obviously aren't thinking very clearly. Um, mule. <laughs> Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Well, this is really nice. Success. Hopefully the success is in your favor. This happens to be your reading. Dolphin. Financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. So I do feel like you will be successful. But you do have somebody that is extremely stubborn that is unwilling to change that isn't really thinking clearly that is going to try to make you do something against your will there's your fucking reading story that slipped anyhow um so yeah Let's see what do we got for scorpio it looks like it's going to be an interesting week somebody's going to try to get you to do something against your will not good hmm what do we have for Scorpio? You know, this can go vice versa, too, just so you know. This could be, you know, you being stubborn and you trying to make somebody do something. You know, it could go vice versa, just saying it could. Um, but I don't think that's the case. I just don't. I don't. I feel like you're going to be successful. What do we have for Scorpio? We have the Hermit and Justice. So the, these are both universe cards. So the universe is doing something for you. This is universally driven. This is out of you. It's like, yeah, free will plays a part, but the universe is making something happen, period. Okay, so this is about justice. It's about getting what you deserve. It's about something going in your favor okay when you get the justice upright in your reading something is going to go in your favor um may have something to do with legal issues if there's any legal issues against you they're probably going to go in your favor but this is doing the right thing acting with integrity and getting what you deserve so i feel like this is something good for you um the Hermit is about withdrawing and um, reflecting on whatever is happening, going completely within, uh, realizing your true identity or realizing something, seeing something, seeing the truth. So there is going to be some sort of truth that is revealed this week because this is, this is enlightenment, uh, reflecting and seeing something. And this is all about the truth. So some sort of truth is coming out this week. Oh my gosh, Rami got the Hierophant upright. All three of them upright. Another major. So these, these are all universe. So this is the Hierophant, which is a higher power. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. You may be getting some sort of guidance from somebody this week. This person, and this could even be a judge. It could be a teacher. could be a priest. Could Somebody that you can trust. And this is definitely somebody you can trust. But anyway, there's a there's a higher power involved. This this is a Jesus consciousness, and this is the highest authority. You are protected in some way, just so you know. You have some sort of protection around you. Um, you are very, very enlightened, and I think that you are receiving messages, and I think that you know exactly what is going to happen. I think that you are highly aware at this time. You're going to be getting something. And this is about bringing balance to your life. So something is happening. It's being guided from a higher power to bring balance to your life. You're going to be getting something. It's good. I believe it's good. Um, 
This is an obstacle being removed. The Eight of Swords reversed. There's an obstacle being removed from your life that has been holding you back. And it could have been fear. Now this is about commitment. This could be going your own way, going within, and this is making a final decision. You may be making a final decision, or the universe may be pushing you to do so. Somebody else could even be pushing you to do so, because someone's going to try to make you do something against your will. And it even could be the law, and I don't, it could be the law, it could be a higher power, you know, and maybe you're the stubborn one. I don't know. And stop. Scorpios are a fixed sign. So you may be very stubborn. But this is solitude. This is going your own way. So you may. And this is a decision. But it is definitely universal. There's a universal help here. Whether you like it or not. Okay. There's an obstacle that is being removed. That has been keeping you trapped in a situation. That probably isn't healthy. Okay. It's not healthy. This is a mental trap. This is a trap. This is staying in a situation that really isn't good for you. But that obstacle is being removed. You may be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra. Wow. The Six of Pentacles. Look at We got scales here and scales here. So there is some sort of justice in getting something. You're going to be receiving something. And I don't know if it's money or a gift or... A reward or whatever it is it's about balance these are both cards of balance um, you're, there's some sort of this is a very wise 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 individual here somebody and it could if it's not you there could be somebody that is in a position of authority that is making a decision that affects your life or you are making the decision after you have taken some time to reflect and your gut is telling you to do something. If it's not the higher power, maybe it's you. Um, but this is a godly energy or a mentor or guidance. It could be a guidance counselor or some sort of somebody you trust giving you advice. But, and this is definitely receiving something. Oh my God, this is this is the fool. So this is a brand new beginning. This is a fresh start, leaving something behind. You're going to be leaving something behind this week, starting a new phase of your life, taking a risk. Um, all of a sudden, too, this, you may, um, it may be a spur of the moment thing, all of a sudden, okay? Um, you're probably going to be stepping into uncharted territory. It feels like you're going your own way. These are both very solitude, starting going your own way. Okay, freedom. Okay, this is freedom, and this is solitary, and this one is too. So I think I think that you're going to be set, sol going solitary. Four of Swords reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. And the Five of Wands reverse. Whoever you have been with has been very combative. There's been a lot of um, fighting, a lot of pettiness, um, victim mentality here, drained. Somebody's been drained. They've been drained of their energy, um, exhausted, fed up, frustrated. We have somebody here that is, whether it's you or the other person, this, there's, this is the death of a situation that is unstable it's insecure there's there's too much going on it's been a constant battle and i think that you've been stuck in it you've been trapped in this situation something is happening this week that breaks you free because this is freedom you're going to be leaving this behind you're going to be going your own way whatever that means and there even could there definitely could be some legal issues that pop up this week or like news of legalities or something like that the Four of Swords reverse is extremely fed up. And there's isolation, you know, right here, right here, and right here. So you may be isolating yourself. Um, you've been in a place where it's been exhausting. Uh-oh. six. This is the Lover's reverse. This is uh, split or separation. Okay. There's conflict. There's disharmony in your life. Now there's going to be a detachment. And this is because this is about self-love. There's some sort of broken relationship here or a broken commitment. There is some sort of separation. There's breaking free, breaking free from some sort of uh, situation that you were that you were trapped in. 
you were. Maybe it, you were trapped in it because you didn't have the money to break free or something like that. You may be receiving some money to break free. Or now you have the money to break free or something like that. Anyway, the five of pentacles reversed is there's light at the end of the tunnel. Things are about to get better. We have an unhealthy relationship here that has reached the end. It has reached the end. Could be somebody that you're living with, you know, and now you have to move. Um, that's what I think this is. I think that you're going to be going someplace else. You're going to be going someplace that you've never been before. Um, you're leaving behind an unbalanced situation, you know, to find your peace, to find your serenity. You're going to find it. You're, you're, you're ready to go. I think that you're ready. I think that you're, you're ready to just leave all this bullshit behind. So I think there's a moving going on. Somebody's moving. There's a change in residence. You could be living with somebody that, um, it could be a family member. Okay. It doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a lover, but and maybe they're, they're having a quarrel. They're having a fight and somebody's splitting up and it's a big mess. It's a, it's some sort of, uh, situation that you're involved in and you just got to get the hell out of here because there's too much animosity. Anyway, the 10 of pentacles reversed is, um, false impressions, uh, fighting over money. You may be fighting with somebody over money. Maybe you, there's, uh, you're dealing with somebody who has a business or something like that. And there's all kinds of uh, financial product problems with the Five of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Maybe they're not, you know, getting all the money that they thought they were going to get and they're, they're, they are uh, abusing you. You know, they're after you. You know, they're, they're blaming you. They're, they're whatever. I do think we have a big loss here because the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles reverse. This is, this is a big loss. And I think this big loss of money has caused a lot of problems in a relationship. And I think that there, now there's going to be a separation. You're going to be breaking free from this situation that you have been trapped in. Um, whether one person is moving or you're moving or something like that. I think there's, whatever is happening, you're going to be going in a different direction. It appears that you're going to be going towards balance, okay? Um, you're going to be making a decision and you're going to be going after what you deserve instead of what it, wherever you've been. It's been very uh, unharmonious. You may have been with, it feels like you were living with somebody with this Ten of Pentacles. It feels like you've been living with somebody that... Um, Maybe it has something to do with prison. I don't know. Anyway, you've been living with somebody that was uh, very combative. You know, they, they fight a lot. They, they're they very... Um, it's just exhausting to live with this person. You know? They're under a lot of social pressure. Whoever you live with is under a lot of social pressure to look a certain way. And I feel like... You, you just can't do it anymore. So I think that you are taking the high road. I think that you're taking the high road. I don't, and you may even be forced. to. You, you, this could be like a judge even or a ruler. It could. It's not the emperor. It's the Hierophant. But the Hierophant is even higher than the emperor. So there could be somebody in authority. It's the highest authority that makes a decision. Or it's even, you know, your intuition or your gut that tells you. Anyway, I feel like this week... Um, you are going to be uh, freed from some sort of situation that you have been in. This situation has drained you. It has. It has. It's been, there's been a lot of incompatibility, a lot of uh, disharmony, and I think that you just can't do it anymore. It's like, oh my God, this is killing stress, is killing you. So I think, I think you're going to be moving. I think you're going to be moving somewhere. Um, or you're planning the move. One more card. There's a lot of planning going on here. Maybe you've been planning for a while or somebody else has been planning. Um, you need to listen to yourself and listen to yourself only. I think you are going through a period where you are realizing your true identity. 
and whoever you're living with is just so much angst. Page of Cups reversed. This is this is unrequited love. It's a one-sided situation. You can't win even if you try. This is, you may be dealing with somebody that has a big ego or is obsessed with their image that is insincere, you know, a drama queen even. I I feel like you are shutting down your emotions and this is this is painful to you. I think it hurts. I think I think you've been uh this is like not at all what you wanted. This is kind of like shattered dreams. Okay? I think your dreams have been shattered. It's like oh somebody's bubble has been burst. That, you know, you were hoping for so much more, but whoever you were with gave you crumbs and wanted you to give so much and it was wasn't equal and I think you're headed towards something you know you're going your own way so that you can find something more balanced and I think it's a final decision whether you're making it or somebody's making it for you this is final okay the justice is a final decision this the justice is about no toleration for lies okay I'm sick of it I'm sick of it I can't do this anymore so I really feel as though you are going to be taking some sort of power back you're going to be honoring your truth and you're, it feels like you are going your own way. And I think it's whether you like it or not. Somebody is making a decision and it has to do with a separation. Good luck.